So welcome back to another video for the solar kiln build. I'm going to be working on the bracing in the roof in order to prepare it for the roofing, the polycarbonate clear roofing that's going to go on it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut all the bracing to dimension and nail it all in. We're going to work on that. We'll see you in a bit. What I did was I went through and I measured about three and a quarter inches up from the end and the reason I did that is I first just kind of test fit one of these boards in and found that about three and a quarter inches up the board is square to the rafter. So I did, I, I followed that measurement all the way across to make sure everything was straight because what we're going to do once these are all in is I have to run a strip of, it's like a gasket that goes on here that the clear plastic roof will screw onto and I don't remember what the name of it is what it's called but the the roofing's called tough text and these are these strips are what the roofing screws into and through into the into the roof itself so these strips need something to attach to and that's what the purpose of these is going to be plus for stability for the roof and support for the roof what I did was I met, like I said I measured three and a quarter inches up on each of the rafters and then from there right at that mark I measured across the distance that I needed uh, in order to cut the pieces that go in between and so I went right across and just did that um, the lower part is going to be sealed off right in here so the roof will attach here it'll hang over down over this so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue on with what I was doing so I'm gonna get right into that if anyone has any questions comments or concerns or any feedback I would certainly appreciate it so we will talk to you in a bit It's just about to start raining. It's actually just starting to come down now a little bit and I just have a couple of boards left to put up. So I'm just gonna put those up here in the rain but I'm gonna need to put the camera away because it's gonna get ruined otherwise. <laughs> and I've already broke one camera. I don't wanna break another one but I'm just gonna get those last couple pieces up. Sometime this weekend I will be working on putting the roofing on. Once I get the roofing on, I'll be able to start putting the sheathing on and we're very close to being able to start drying some wood so I can't wait. Be able to start loading the wood up in here which means I can start milling again soon. It's gonna be a lot of milling going on very soon. So anyway, I appreciate everyone following along on this project. We're almost there. I'm hoping maybe just a f two, three, four more videos and I'll have it done. But like I said, next week, there's a good chance I may not get much time to work on it. I'm hoping to have it done in the next couple of weeks. And then once I do, like I said, I'll be able to put some wood in there and get it drying. And then I can really go nuts on starting to do a bunch of milling. So it's gonna get real busy here uh, coming up very soon. As always, I really appreciate you watching and participating, commenting. I really love being able to interact with everyone here that's watching. And it really helps us out a lot if you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. There's gonna be a lot of 
woodwork related content, sawmilling, building out buildings, uh, woodworking. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, some tool reviews and things like that and some process on how I set certain things up in the shop. So there's just there's, there's going to be a lot coming up. So anyway, take care. I will see you on the next video.